Alright, we're gonna play some Diablo, but actually... Actually, okay, we should play some Diablo. I want to theorcraft my build, but the problem is... We're gonna have a, a zone reset for the blood guys in like 15 minutes. So let me do that, and then we're gonna do some theory crafting. I'm currently working on... The future best build in Diablo 4. Okay. I know it sounds really arrogant, but... Let's see. Let's see. Whispers? No. Okay, where's the thing? I made a build that, uh... I still need to figure out glyphs, but I'm proud to say looks crazier than anything that I've seen in this league. It's a burning Sork build that doesn't scale burning. that screw up my powers? Yes, it does. It's a crit sork, yes. But I'm still working on it. I'm still working on it. There's a number of adjustments to try to make. Last 74 levels. Oh, also this build is not going to have any crowd control. <laughs> it's a burning Sork that doesn't scale burning. And it doesn't use crowd control. It's gonna be so good, guys. So good. I need time to prepare that. And what defenses? Oh, that's easy. We're just gonna kill everything.
What's that? Oh, shit, I'm gonna die. Another staff. Okay, let's go. Minus two. Meteorites fall on meteor. Basic skill, core skill. Oh, it's gonna be a fun one. build am I doing? It's on Mobilitics if you want a teaser. It's titled Experimental Fire Sork or something like that. It's uh, it's very much a at your own risk build. It might it might not work and and brick. But I'm hoping that's not the case. Shop. No, I haven't seen that. Interesting, though. Is that guy summoning these in normal? Why would you do that? I don't think I'm gonna summon two. I'd rather try to get good gear later. Best defense is killing everything? Yeah. had that? Okay. Uh, what do I get now? I don't know. Uh, more levels in Firewall, I guess? You got, like, some defenses. <laughs> do the Firebolt thing. That's quite, quite a lot of damage for single target.
think that's the whole thing, right? I've done every quest here. Yeah, I killed all the uber bosses on the necro. Uh, even though the damage was pretty good versus what I've seen for everything except overpower barbs, uh, it's still pretty slow, and playing with minions is a bit annoying for me. So... We rerolled. You hit barrier. Not bad. Do meteorites around meteor. Seems like quite a lot of damage. That one's probably the best one still. Barrier, Hydra mod. Grit with core. Nice. Nova plus two firewall. Let's go. Boots with actual movement speed on them. Thank God. Uh, okay. Those are crap. Oh, rip summon necromancer. I finished the character. He has insane gear. It's level 100. All the glyphs except the Voln glyph, which it's like 1% more damage if I finish leveling it. That's Nova damage of barrier. Hydra mod. Hydra mod is increased now, right? Increased duration. Wow, that's really nice. Abilities, so we got that thing. Uh, I don't really need the crits. Double one healthy. Mm. Is interesting, actually. I think it's more mana regen. I kind of like killing mana regen, actually. Uh, firewall is maxed. Burning thingy. I have, like, no investment and defense skills, so that's kind of a problem. Maybe we put a point in that. And I have to fix my powers. One divinity too much, and four ferocity too little. Wait, what? So that display was bugged? What the hell? Okay, well they work now. So we have the familiar to slap whenever we use that. Companion's Curse. This one's pretty damn weak right now. Damage over time. Hmm. Hmm, just realized that one might, might have to go. Okay, build Theorycraft. This is going to look really stupid. Okay. The idea of the build is entirely on X-Fall doing damage. Your damage over time affects 50% chance to erupt, so it's an AoE. And right now I have one of these.
Uh, and it's a 40,000 roll, which is one of the highest. It's a crazy item. And it's... Honestly, it's more damage than a, a Sork can do otherwise. Yes, it relies on a single item, but I have the item. It also relies on Tybalt's will, but I have it. Yes, we are using Flame Scar. We're using Flame Scar because it has mana cost reduction and lucky hit with fire damage. Those two things are really good. We don't even channel incinerate. Just lucky hit is so crazy. Uh, none of the aspects are particularly conditional, except for the vulnerable. If we have a barrier, which shouldn't be too bad. Uh, lucky hit if you have a barrier. We are using double hydra. We are going crit. We're using S's to convert our movement speed. Um, damage if barrier. And then we have the standstill one. If we really want some extra damage against single target, we're just going to stand there and AFK. Now you're probably thinking, this looks like shit. We're not using Frost Nova. <laughs> and we're not using Ice Armor. We're using Firebolt. Because uh, it burns and it's pretty decent. I might not use Firebolt and use Ice Armor instead, though. So we'll see about that. Because if we have, like, no mana problems, we don't really care about the fire damage that much. Actually, maybe I shouldn't use Firebolt. Cooldown 20, cooldown 24. Yeah. Let's not use Firebolt. We shouldn't have mana problems. So, Ice Armor, Teleport, Flame Shield, no Frost Nova. We have nothing that increases our damage versus Frozen anyway. And we're not staggering, we don't even have Aspect of Control. Firewall has a pretty good lucky hit. Um, we're using Hydra as well. Actually, I guess the auto attack has a better lucky hit than Firewall. Is that really enough to justify using it, though? Probably not. The lucky hit on fire, Firebolt, 35. Yeah, but that's the hit and the damage over time. I'm not sure if it's just the damage over time. I also think Incinerate might have a better lucky hit. You can base skill attack speed really fast. Yeah, it really just has to do if I'm running out of mana or not. If I'm running out of mana, then I need to keep Firebolt. I don't know if I will, because we have Tybalt's Will, but that's the only regen. So, I, I don't know. Really, I don't know. We'll see about that one. So, we're using Firewall to proc damage over time. We're using Hydra to proc damage over time. We're using the Inferno to proc damage over time. We're using Flame Shield to proc damage over time. And maybe Firebolt to proc damage over time. Firewall triggers on damage over time with Lucky Hit now. It's not 5% if burning. So all of that crap will mean more Firewalls. Incinerate is normally terrible, but it is an extra free damage over time. And the lucky hit on Incinerate is actually pretty decent. So we're scaling lucky hit, and we're using crazy number of damage over time, all fire. And they all proc the Signet, which we scale with crit. And it's pretty tricky because I have to, like, read everything super carefully. So we have Incinerate. Enemies deal 25% less damage while burning from Incinerate. They burn for like 2 seconds after, and it's a 8 second duration, 12 second cooldown for the automatic one. So it's actually really good uptime. 5 out of 6 uptime. 
on the damage reduction. I was testing it, and I don't think that the burn enemies around you works. I do not think this works. I don't think that works. But I think it's worth two points for 25 DR. Again, we're not actually using Incinerate. We might use Firebolt. If we don't use Firebolt, I get a free point. Yes, Firebolt increases the burning damage I deal to the enemy, but the burning damage is not going to be a big part of the damage. Um, flame Shield and maybe Ice Armor. Hopefully I wouldn't have to actually have Flame Shield here. I do want one point Elemental Attunement. I think this will actually trigger quite a bit because it'll trigger off of the proc and it will trigger off of Hydra, which I'm hoping will be something because this this character is going to have more lucky hit than any character has ever had. <laughs> okay, literal, literal max lucky hit. Glass Cannon is all damage. Max Teleport, because we actually need to use cooldowns. Just one point Hydra. We don't care about the damage. 15 lucky hit. 3 damage globally for each Conjuration. We only have 2, but that's not bad for global. Defenses. Barrier duration. I don't know if I need that. We'll see. We actually only have like two points in firewall. Maybe I'll even go to one. It's only a catalyst to proc the ring. Okay, we're not doing damage with fire. I'm not even going to use the uh, adept uh, glyph. I mean, I might because I like the 20 area. We'll have to see. Maybe. Inner flames is pyromancy skills only. So these points actually kind of suck. I was thinking of maybe putting it in the mobilize. That's maybe if it staggers the boss. That needs some experimentation. So we'll see. That I don't know. Fine. If we take those two points out, where would I put them? We'll see. Inferno. Um, deal damage to burning the longer they're burning. Like, I'm hoping that nothing stays alive after five seconds. Yeah. That's it. I hope nothing stays alive after five seconds. So I don't think that point is too good. And, oh yeah, get this. We're not using combustion, because combustion only scales burning. S's ferocity scales crit and crit damage. That scales the proc. Now, we're going to use a full burning build until we can use the ring, which is level 80. So we'll see. Okay, so if I have a few points left over, where where would I put them? Maybe an elemental attunement to reset flame shield and teleport constantly. Yes, the ring proc can crit. Also, I might need some resists. So yeah, it's it's difficult to know exactly. Eighty is like one day. I'll be eighty by the end of today, I think. Yeah. So roughly, that's the build. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, I don't have lucky hit on the other ring. Uh, so vuln damage is useless. Lucky hit chance. Uh. Lucky hit if barrier. Lucky hit. And lucky hit if barrier on the amulet. Now these powers, vuln damage works, metamorphosis is always good. Uh, attack speed will work for sure. See this one? 60x increased damage over time? Uh, I don't know if that's that good. Maybe. It's a lot. It's a multiplier. But I might use... 
Maybe Moonrise if I use the auto. Not Dominion. This one. Chance to inflict Vampiric Curse. I might use this one. Because it'll make the uptime of Vuln much, much higher. But that's that's something easy to change. And this is a lot of damage, so yeah. I, I'll, I'll leave that as it is. I'll leave that as it is. Now, Paragons. Oh my god, this is going to be a mess. So I like Adept because 20 increase area. But I don't actually want any damage for Firewall. I don't know if that justifies a Glyph. Um, I also don't know if I want to spend all those points. Maybe I do, because DR from Burning is still really good. Yeah, I might, uh, I might do this one here anyway. And damage for four seconds. Bonus to rare nodes. Damage to Burning. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Enchantment 20% stronger, that's good. Uh, bonus to non-physical. I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, we have to get the, that node 100%. Aspect of control, we're not using this. We're just, we're just not using that. Crit destruction. That one's really important. But, look at this note. You deal bonus damage to vulnerable equals the 10% multiplier of the total amount of your bonus damage with cold. Actually, that's, that's a good question. How much is that? Damage with cold, 175. So that would be a 17x multiplier. I think it's just paragons that I have with that. The non-physical damage. Non-physical damage, non-physical damage. So I can probably expect something similar. Which again is not crazy, but it's not bad. Old resistance, vulnerable damage. We are from vulnerable. Like it's it's not bad. Ooh, lucky hit. Oh. That has lucky hit on it. Well, I kind of want that. I think the summoner might have some lucky hit on it as well. Speed. Mana. No, I, I guess it doesn't. Um, since I'm going for like extra nodes and stuff, it might be the case that I have to remove a board. Resist. 
lightning damage. But I want destruction. Okay, that's a good question. What board... Come on, putting this up in the other tab. What board has the most dexterity? Burning instinct? Ceaseless conduit. Okay, screw it. Screw the defensive aspect of that. Exploit, Enchanter. Uh, I think it might not let me pick it. Destruction. Well, I'm not using this board, so... Destruction. Dexterity, 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 dexterity. Oh, 44 is the most? Oh no, I don't have that one. Okay, 49 dexterity, critical strike damage, that's fine. Damage to burning. Damage to burning. DR from burning. Dexterity. 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 Little power int. Well, I'd rather do that. Forty nine dexterity. I killed the uh, Duriel, but I went full minions to do that. Game. Aspect of control. God, this board is super garbage. But it has the, the crit and the DR from burning, yeah. The fire. Pyromaniac, every primary skill, every second cast fire damage. It's 15 bonus, they're fire damage and fire damage reduction. Isn't there... Flame feeder. Increased direct damage to burning. Increased damage to burning. Yes, this is good. Doubt those two points are worth it. Yeah, flame feeder is great there. Minimal dexterity usage. Also, I, do, I will do a lot of fire. <coughs> Occasionally, I'll do lightning. Not amazing. But I can maybe put that in adept. In place there, yeah. And... Rigid Fate. I don't know how I'm setting that one up, we'll see. Damage over time reduction. I'm not using this. I'm not using the Adept Glyph. I think it's kind of weak. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. That one always gets me, I feel. 
doesn't look right. <clears throat> I have a big int over there that I don't care so much about. And this one is like mediocre. And then what is Frigid Fate? What is the Frigid Fate board? It has okay willpower, and the rest kind of suck. Honestly, they do, yeah. Let's just see what other glyphs might be useful. Exploit is okay. Dexterity. Maybe exploit. How uh, how good is a max level imbiber? Is it a lot of damage? Less than Glyph of Control. Mm. Like Tactician. Very, very easy to do. Yeah. Tactician's good. Boost to rare nodes. Resists and non-fizz. Extra damage. If I link it from the bottom, it'll power int. Can. Just the same int willpower instead of dexterity willpower. Yeah, that's better. Still has that bonus. I can do that dexterity instead of that dexterity. And int willpower is the same. I mean, okay, sure, I think that's fine. The non-fizz damage is probably best. All the resists, I don't know about that. Okay. Pretty int. Yeah, I guess that one is fine. What next? Charged, Conjure, Control, Electrocute, Enchanter, Exploit would be it. Where's the... Uh, screw the DR from Vulnerable. This might be a pretty tight board. I want the Lucky Hit. And the Legendary Node. Uh, this might actually be pretty good. Dexterity points are there. 
So, an approach from this side might be favorable. Let's try it. Uh, is that right? Yeah. Lucky hit. Lucky hit. There. Hint. Exploit. Um, I don't know if I'll really get that. Okay, four, five. Oh, wow, it has. It only has those. Frigid Fate actually has the lowest dexterity, which is kind of funny. Hold resist. It's fine. That's gonna have to be the setup there. I connect from this side, one, two, three, four, five, six. Or this side, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This puts me in closer proximity there. Which is interesting. That was a little inefficient. Um. That look mirrored? Not quite. I think it's a little bit longer from the other side. Plus I'd get cold resist instead of vuln damage. I'd rather have vuln damage. Minus two is how many points we have. Typically we want to do a little bit better than minus two. But I don't see how it could possibly come out of that board. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, thirteen, seventeen points to link all of that up. Here it would be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, three, four. Actually, it's the same. Seventeen, seventeen. But yeah, the difference would be cold resist versus the vuln damage. Crit damage. Crit damage. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's pretty far. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. What is the implicit here? Cold resist? Okay. Cold resist. Bone damage. Yeah, so that one is definitely the last board, I think. Actually, that does beg a new question. How close are we to that side? Oh, we're pretty far. Uh, no, this is the setup. I just have to drop two points. Or crit damage. Two point dexterity node there that I can drop. But I think crit damage is pretty useful. Also, just drop like two health points there. Because this should be a pretty tanky build as is. Physical and non physical. And that's so elegant, I get everything. So elegant. How long is it? 10 seconds? Yeah, I can teleport on top of the mob. Oh, yeah, one resist there. 
I probably won't need to get that. So it's really one point. Is there one point we can do without... Yeah, 50 armor. We can do without 50 armor. We can do without 250 armors, honestly. Yeah, that's the build. 100%. Okay. There. That's what we're playing. What will I level as? Oh, just generic burn build. Alright, let's go level. Let me turn on the lights, actually. One sec. I, uh, like, finished the Necromancer. Like, getting, getting a few more stat points on gear was the, the only real thing I had left to do. Build sunken library. Where is the... Oh, there it is. Let me get some, uh, let me get some more elixirs. No, I want movement speed, actually. Before I was playing the Shadow Golemancer. I killed all the Uber bosses. Can't kill Uber. I mean I I, I couldn't kill Uber because I don't know the mechanics. But uh my damage was about the same as the, the ball lightning build that Rax was saying was the best, so I'm sure someone who knows the mechanics can can do that just fine. Honestly, if they gave her loot that was worthwhile, I would learn the fight. I'm not ready yet. Seekers are tanky. Yeah! Sense of accomplishment? Yeah, there's enough of that in other games too, so... Mobs. Fuck is this?
that's worse. Kill monster, get XP. Yeah. I want the, the metamorphosis dodge. I think that would be nice. At this level especially. Ball lightning? No. No ball lightning here. Why am I not getting legendaries off these chests now? So easy. Well, I have like crazy items. Some of the mobs in this zone are actually fairly challenging, at times anyway. Kinda sucked though. I go do some random dungeons, I guess.
This is, uh, I, I posted the build. It's the experimental one. Uh, did I fully gear the necro? I mean, I didn't manage to get a CDR amulet. Somehow, but yes, otherwise, yes. Super low on forgotten souls all the time. Yeah, it, it is like that. There's not much escaping that. some of the crappy stuff here. Um, do I do lucky hit? I don't have any lucky hit triggers at all right now. I need time to do that. And I want to not use fireball on my bar. Oh, this is a good one. That clears the dots. Maybe it's not so good. You don't need to farm crazy Helltide. Um, it's a mix of like Helltide and Whisper events. The Whisper events I think are more limiting actually. I'm not ready yet. Oh, I had the shield. End game setup right here. Wait, do I have the second slot? Oh, I do. Rock my firewalls, damn it. Oh, 
What? Oh, it's the poison ground. Why does it let me complete it? Right here. On damage, damage to poison. I don't know about the Hydra proc in the firewall. It's super low chance or doesn't look like it's the Hydra dot. Okay. Only Hydra. I know it's a super low chance, it's like a 3%. But right now I have like no lucky hit. I only have one Hydra and I have not doubling my attack speed. But yeah, you might be right. It might not work. For these I have to a little seriously. Why did my cooldown reset constantly? Taking direct damage has 9% chance to reset the cooldown when you're defensive skills. Oh. Wait. Is that as good as I think it is? That's the event. I'm not ready yet. I need time. Seems like you can't chain it with the, um... With the flame shield, because you're not actually taking damage with that. Uh, I'm just not sure if, if like, one of these vampires are in here, because it didn't mark it.
guess not. Looking at that anyway. Did it say dungeon complete? I guess it must have, right? It did? Okay. Where are the other places I have to go? Um, yeah, it looks like Hydra might not be proccing it. You are correct. The other sources are all direct burning, though. I'm not ready yet. But that does ease up a little bit of pressure on the aspects also. Um, so if you give a skill burn, that burn has zero lucky hit. I have tested that in the past. So your ball lightning burn lucky hit thing, it's not gonna work. But it seems like Hydra is also bugged with it, which is pretty bizarre. I haven't found whatever vampire I'm supposed to find. 
Well, maybe he's here. Oh, that's not him either. How do you deal with the mana? The the pants plot. But I just freed up an aspect, so I don't know. Kill the guy I was supposed to. Oh. <laughs> Wait, so it's not kill all of them then, huh? Do the stronghold up there. Beckoning thirst. But yeah, we have to do something about Hydra. Hydra is probably no good. Also wondering what other implications that might have. With Hydra being no good, I'm not going to be getting a lot of actual crits. I also need to get crits with some form of direct damage for the S's, no? Oh no, it, that can trigger off of the proc. No, that's fine.
the 300 and 250 chests. The 300 one gives you a mat that you need to summon uh, a boss that you then kill to then get another mat that you need two of to kill Duriel in addition to another mat that you need in the chest. The 250 just has items. Travel the inner sanctum. I, need time. I guess this was some objective they deleted, but they left in the mobs for it, so it just like looks weird. Bloodseekers in here. Who is that guy? I'm not ready yet. Oh, was that the boss? Oh, I got a vampire boss. speed. zone 
Yeah, we can go through the PvP zone. I barely completed it. I'm not ready. Sark, one of the best classes now. Uh, some people say it's quite good, yeah. Bosses seem underwhelming, they need more life. The Durial has about 45 million health. Nightmare plus three best XP? I think so. Oh, 
What now? I guess we can get the the core skills over 50 mana if they need. A large part of the damage is uh, firewall build currently. I didn't give up on Necro, uh, I finished the Necro. Got to 100, I got him pretty much fully geared, I went full Shadow Golemancer, and I killed all the uber bosses. I oh, don't know. What else should I do? No Shaco? No, but I got a set of items that led to me playing this character. Fists of Fate, Ball Lightning. Oh, is that what they did? That's awesome. Not while I'm in town. There's a Pog Champ in my staff. Did you guys see that? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Pog Staff. The other stuff having it. Sick attacks increase core. Came in looking for her, for you. <laughs> okay, I'm AFK a minute. Yet. Oh, it's the fortify power. Uh, I mean, it seems to let me progress even if I don't claim the rewards, so I'm just going to claim the rewards later. Yeah, I did the campaign skip for sure. I still have to think about it. Hydra. So if Hydra's not proc and burns, I should not be using it. Right, I should not be using it. I'll probably just use Firebolt and a defensive skill now. What's the matter? You've given too much of yourself to fight so I don't know if I like Nova, it's not instant. I don't think I can stop you. Nova not being instant means I lose damage casting it. Where do I do this? To save us all from damnation. Will he return? That depends if you continue indulging in sin or stay true to the light. 
What? What is this quest? What? Oh, this is the do the event. Okay, good, good, good. Yeah, 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 I remember now. Purely off memory. It's not very clear. Unless, yeah, I guess you, like, listen to what she's saying. Fuck that. It's time for that shit, right? So the Hydra burns are not proccing any lucky hit. I guess I should see if the auto attack works then. Well, I guess I'll do Hydra because the Hydra I know is not proccing. The auto attack has a lucky hit, but it also hits, so I don't know how much of that. Part of it, right? I think the basic attack might not proc it. <laughs> That's so troll. That is unbelievably troll, dude, if that's the case. Basic attack. That's pretty cool. What's that? Basic's like way more armor, though. Firewall definitely procs firewall. Just, just to get that out. It's not like the, the firewall proc is not working. Hello. 
You know how many times Dex barked when you were gone? Not once. It's just like full protect mode. level before I go do the whispers thing. I said about him barking. Didn't bark a single time when you were gone. No one left to protect. Firebolt Dot doesn't proc Lucky Hit either. I haven't uh, super thoroughly tested it, but it looks like the Firebolt... Um oh, movement speed, conjuration, it has movement speed. It looks like the Firebolt, um, the Lucky Hit is shared between the Hit and the Dot. So it's a little misleading. I believe I didn't have that, what the hell. It's a little bit misleading in its full lucky hit. That makes some sense. It's like Meteor. I don't know. Like, Meteor can proc Firewall off the... Wow. Off the dot. I just have no idea how, how frequently it can. Uh, oh, wow. That was actually a good one. That's a good affix. That's a good affix. Not... I don't think I'd be using that. Screw lightning spear. Engulfing flames. I think that one sucks. By the way. Nice spikes. Meteorites. Damage barrier. Seven and a half move speed. Wow. That looks awesome. All the upgrades. Uh, let me see, we're missing two ferocity and one divinity.
How many eternity do we have extra? Two eternity. So yeah, I might get a chest upgrade. We should probably use that. There. And now we're missing. We're missing four eternity, two divinity, and we have way more ferocity than we need. Two and four. We need two divinity and four less ferocity. What has ferocity so much? The boots have ferocity. Okay. Really struggled to remember them. What's that? Villagers. Quit pinging me. World boss in an hour. In an hour's a long time. Actually, I should maybe try to. Try to do the world boss on Nightmare. Literally not once when you're gone. Target's definitely lacking.
Nice shards. It's a good smiting roll. Armor roll. I think I'm gonna use the armor. So happy we're gonna get something. Oh my god, I'm gonna what are we gonna get? What are we gonna get? <laughs> yeah, I'll give him one. Thank you. Sleepy fix. Did the quest shift? Try to eat a little bit while I play, but I don't know if that'll be easy. Offering of flesh. I can assume Zia knows you've come.
I'm not ready yet. <laughs> I thought I'd seen it.
Shield, Max. Shield. 